Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I have six reasons that I think many people's grocery bill is higher than what they think it is. I think there's many folks out there that are spending more than they realize. Let me get right into it. I've heard folks, you know, just in passing say, oh, our family's grocery budget is 500, it's 400, it's 600, whatever, and everybody's different depending on size and a bunch of factors. Now, I'm not saying I disagree. I'm not saying that any of those folks are lying. I don't know their situation, but it got me thinking, okay? Now, our family, I call it we're a family of three and a half because my daughter's boyfriend is here half the time, but she's over at his family's place half the time. And so it kind of all evens out. And he does bring groceries and food over here too. But we still are purchasing more and I'm doing more cooking now that he's here more often. So, this is what I've noticed is, I'm going to start with number one. Number one, when people go to a club store, such as Sam's or Costco, love those places. There's a lot of fabulous deals. I enjoy going. But if we're going to the regular grocery store and we're going to a club store, are we adding that into our budget? I remember years ago when I made more money, I used to spend more on groceries than I do now. I budget 500 for a family of three and a half for the, a month. And that includes just food. That does not include toiletries. Some people think that's high. Some people think that's low. I'll be honest with you. It's a tight fit doing that even though I cook. So I used to spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. And, the, and, the, and I'm going to tell you some of the reasons why as I go through this list. One of them, number one, is I went to Sam's quite often and I bought grocery items there as well. If you're going to the regular grocery store and then you're going to Sam's or Costco on top of that, it can really add up. OK, and are you adding that into your grocery budget? Number two, any kind of online subscription or when you're ordering food online are people including that in their grocery budget? There's some fabulous markets. And by the way, guys, when I say all these things, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with shopping these places. All I'm saying is, is this a separate line item in your budget or is this including in your grocery budget? If you have a grocery budget of 400 a month, can you do it on that with doing all these things I'm about to mention and as I'm mentioning them? So online subscriptions, there's some wonderful, fabulous markets out there that people are very happy with. But let's say you're ordering your meat from a place. Well, are you also buying it in the store? And what are you adding that to your grocery budget? Number three, going to multiple stores. I know I'm guilty of this. It, you know, I see, oh, here this store has this one loss leader this week. Let's travel on over to that store. But what's the gas getting to that store? And am I going to see other goodies? You know, if you have a hard time sticking strictly to your list, you may not want to be going to these multiple stores. Yes, maybe they have grapes for 99 cents a pound, but are you buying all the other stuff at full price while you're there because you don't want to mess with just, you know, going to several stores? Is it worth it to go to several stores? Are you going just to get that one item, you know? And if, is it out of your way? A lot of questions to ask yourself because that could end up, you know, adding up. Number four, and this is big, going to an overall larger grocery store. I read an article the other day that some of these stores are looking at decreasing some of the brands they have on the shelf. So let's say that there's 20 brands of barbecue sauce, maybe bringing it down to where they only have 10 brands. One of the reasons that Aldi is known to be overall less expensive is they have less choices. Some people don't like that. They love more choices, but more choices you're more apt to spend more money. If you don't have a whole lot of choices, there's not as much to spend money on except for basics and you make it on your own. So larger grocery stores, you could end up spending more unless you are very strict at sticking to your list. I know I'm not always, you might see something, hey, this isn't on my list, but it sure looks good and it's a quote, pretty good price. So you pick it up, it adds to the grocery budget. Okay, number four, basically, and number four and five I'm going to say together. Five is convenience foods. Six is food waste. And hear me out on this. I see so many videos, oh, easy way to make something or quick, easy meal plan. And it sounds easy, and it's probably easy to them because they're used to scratch cooking. But for folks that work a lot and are used to convenience foods and things that are quick and easy, which does cost you more, it takes time to scratch cook, to pantry cook, to freezer cook, 
It takes a lot of planning and a lot of time. I think over a period of time doing it, you're going to get better at it. But buying convenience foods can end up costing. But also, if you go buy a bunch of food in bulk because you're planning on scratch cooking and you don't ever get around to it, you can end up with food waste. So you got to kind of balance. Do you want some a little bit of convenience and you want to do a little bit of scratch cooking? I'm just going to end with saying this. I always recommend if you're going to start doing any kind of scratch cooking, start off slow and get into it slowly rather than going all out, buying all these bulk type foods and then end up wasting it because you don't get to chopping or peeling and things like that. That takes the time. So these are some things that I think can make our grocery bill higher than what we think it is. I want to hear from you in the comments below. Are you guilty of these? And what are some things that you think make our grocery bill higher than what we think it is? That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.